grown-ups has been feeling a lot better. Come on, I know this place is off limits to grown-ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there. Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. They ran off this way. Be careful. Huh. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope you see me. <laughs> I'm waiting. It's on you. So it's my turn? <laughs> You'll see. So long. And catch! One more shot! And we're safe. Seriously? Go on! That's that. Keep it together. I'll take care of them. Bring it. Here we go. That's it. Go on. Try me. Just go away. Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Okay. Get him. Lend me your strength. Let's go. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? That's that. Get him! Go on! This can take long. It's over. Quickly, we gotta save them. All right. Take Are over for a bit. 
Let's do this. Take it from here. Sure. However, I can help. Just taking a little break. Going in. Soldier. You was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have.
try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Get him! <laughs> to be a soldier. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that... Oh, yeah! Yeah. It was really cool and you went like... Yeah! Yeah! You've got it all wrong. Like that. No way! It was way faster than that. Yeah! Yeah! Like that! Fine. Then how about... Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Damn similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. The reunion. Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. <laughs> then you must be from the legendary... The legendary... Hey, Cloud! I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Oh my, is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, 
Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopo. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But you'll need to buy a membership first. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopo. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. See anything you like? Medals, Koopo, which means I can bring happiness to a ton of people. Good for you. Hey, Cloud. Maybe say it like you mean it? Not until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile from ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way? Well, oh, hey. That 
That's what's called easy. Oh, you're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? <sighs> you see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. So Eris, you're back! Come, look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Why is it gonna get dark years ago? Wow! You're that soldier, right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! I know. You're talking about you can see the sky? This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. I thought we put those days of war and death behind us. But Wutai won't let us move on. <laughs> people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Did you know? This place is haunted. I just love Out too? What do you say? Anything else around here? It'd be great if they Hi there, cute little doggy. That's what's called easy money. Couple of drinks out. Man, Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. Hey there, how goes the patrol? Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh, no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! Going, Cloud. Hello, Cloud. Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. 
Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Hey! Any marks around? Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. Do you think this means another war's coming? I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look sure dangerous. <laughs> I've been out here all night. I'm glad I moved here, but... The reactor just went up in flames. Mm. Huh. Fancy meeting you here, man. You got the best spicy sweet meatball in all the Hey there, man. You into music? I screwed up an order of discs, sitting on a mountain of them now. Mind taking at least one off my hands? Maybe I'll check out what that other person is doing. Get your slum meatballs right here. You're dead. Let's do this. Go on! It's over. Shit. Enough. So it's my turn? You'll see. That's it. And we're safe. Any time now. Go on. Just, just. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> Try this. Get ready. See ya. No turning back. No holding Go back. Go on! <laughs> Come on! Get him! 
So it's my turn? <laughs> this one's for you! Was never in doubt. On you. I'll take care of them. One more shot. According to official, the bombers are believed to have gone into hiding somewhere far from the. I heard. The I heard. You got them all, the right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Oh, must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for him, getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shin or bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? And now, the weather 
Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. You scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. The ceasefire was declared five years ago. Did I just say so, do you think this means another <laughs> Just me. All right. <laughs> Shit. Don't overdo it. So it's my turn. Be careful. Right. 
take it from here. Sure. However I can help. <laughs> Come on. One more shot! Too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for the little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I, I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying, and then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? According to officials who are involved with the ongoing investigation, the bombers are believed to have It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? You having fun yet? Peeps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good, because I command a very good salary. As the children we interviewed early... Today, the parents died in the war. the most possible Sounds like you made a real danger. I can't believe I forgot all about them. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's got to be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? 
I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. The Toad King wants to take over our hideout. He's mean and angry. Will he bite me? It'd be great if they asked us again. Hey, you won't stop telling us stories about that damn reactor. Moggy's kind of interesting, huh? He's weird, but he makes everyone around him really happy. Get back. I can fight too, you know. Take the lead. I'm coming! Yes. I'm backing off a bit. Moving on then. Seriously. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Here goes. <laughs> hey, you asked for it. Get him. Here he comes. This one's for you. See you around. Get back. I can fight too, you know. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Get him! Nothing to a piece of cake. Go on! Keep it together. I'll take care of them. Yeah. I'm backing off a bit. They're hurt. That's it. I'd keep my distance if I... Not bad. We could always run away, right? Get him! Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Hey, you asked for it. Hang back. So, no, hold on back. Stay back. Try this. Go on. Here we go. One more shot. Finish it. Ready or not, here I come. You've got this! My turn. I'll Keep put ready. your eyes! That's ah! that. that wasn't so bad. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much. Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, 
chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally... It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this... And I heard he was looking for some help. He doesn't see me. Be quiet. Oh, hey, Cloud. The rules are easy. We usually don't let...
so long. grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since I've heard, heard there's someone going around. And now the war is Happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I've heard about you. 